BOS is an operating system for personal computers first developed by B Incorporated. In 1990, it was first written to run on BBOX hardware. BOS was positioned as a multimedia platform that could be used by a substantial population of desktop users and a competitor to classic Mac OS and Microsoft Windows. It was ultimately unable to achieve a significant market share, and did not prove commercially viable for B Incorporated. The company was acquired by Palm Incorporated. And today the OS is mainly used and developed by a small population of enthusiasts. The open source operating system Haiku, a complete re-implementation of BOS, is an open source continuation of BOS concepts. Beta 1 of Haiku was released in September 2018, six years after Alpha 4. Beta 2 of Haiku was released in June 2020, while Beta 3 was released about a year later in July 2021. Initially designed to run on AT&T Hobbit-based hardware, BOS was later modified to run on PowerPC-based processors, first B-Zone Systems, later Apple Inc. This PowerPC reference platform and common hardware reference platform, with the hope that Apple would purchase or license BOS as a replacement for its aging classic Mac OS. Toward the end of 1996, Apple was still looking for a replacement to Copeland in their operating system strategy. Amidst rumors of Apple's interest in purchasing BOS, they wanted to increase their user base, to try to convince software developers to write software for the operating system. B courted Macintosh clone vendors to ship BOS with their hardware. Apple CEO Gil Emilio started negotiations to buy B Incorporated. But negotiations stalled when B CEO Jean Louis Gasset wanted $300 million, Apple was unwilling to offer any more than $125 million. Apple's board of directors decided Next Step was a better choice and purchased Next in 1996 for $429 million, bringing back Apple co founder Steve Jobs. In 1997, Power Computing began bundling BOS with its line of PowerPC-based Macintosh clones. These systems could dual-boot either the classic Mac OS or BOS, with a startup screen offering the choice. Motorola also announced in February 1997 that it would bundle BOS with their Macintosh clones, the Motorola Star Max, along with Mac OS. Due to Apple's moves and the mounting debt of B Incorporated. BOS was soon ported to the Intel x86 platform with its R3 release in March 1998. Through the late 1990s, BOS managed to create a niche of followers, but the company failed to remain viable. B Incorporated also released a stripped-down, but free, copy of BOS R5 known as BOS Personal Edition. BOS PE could be started from within Microsoft Windows or Linux, and was intended to nurture consumer interest in its product and give developers something to tinker with. Be Incorporated also released a stripped-down version of BOS for Internet Appliances, which soon became the company's business focus in place of BOS. In 2001 B's copyrights were sold to Palm Incorporated for some $11 million. BOS 5 South African Rand is considered the last official version, but BOS R5. 1 Dano, which was under development before B's sale to Palm and included the BOS networking environment networking stack was leaked to the public shortly after the company's demise. In 2002, B Incorporated sued Microsoft claiming that Hitachi had been dissuaded from selling PCs loaded with BOS, and that Compaq had been pressured not to market an internet appliance in partnership with B. B also claimed that Microsoft acted to artificially depress B Incorporated. His initial public offering. The case was eventually settled out of court for $23. $25 million with no admission of liability on Microsoft's part. After the split from Palm, Palm Source used parts of BOS's multimedia framework for its failed Palm OS Cobalt product. With the takeover of Palm Source, the BOS rights now belong to Access Company. Family tree of BOS and related operating systems. In the years that followed the demise of B Incorporated, a handful of projects formed to recreate BOS or key elements of the OS with the eventual goal of then continuing where B Incorporated left off. This was facilitated by B Incorporated. Having released some components of BOS under a free license. Such projects include, Zeta was a commercially available operating system based on the BOS R5. One codebase. Originally developed by Yellowtape, the operating system was then distributed by Magnusoft. During development by Yellowtape, the company received criticism from the BOS community for refusing to discuss its legal position with regard to the BOS codebase. Access Company. 
has since declared that Yellowtape had no right to distribute a modified version of BOS, and Magnusoft has ceased distribution of the operating system. BOS was built for digital media work and was written to take advantage of modern hardware facilities such as symmetric multiprocessing by utilizing modular I.O. bandwidth, pervasive multithreading, preemptive multitasking and a 64-bit journaling file system known as BFS. The BOS GUI was developed on the principles of clarity and a clean, uncluttered design. The API was written in C++ for ease of programming. The GUI was largely multi-threaded, each window ran in its own thread, relying heavily on sending messages to communicate between threads. And these concepts are reflected into the API. It has partial POSIX compatibility and access to a command line interface through Bash. Although internally it is not a Unix-derived operating system. Many Unix applications were ported to the BOS command line interface. BOS used Unicode as the default encoding in the GUI, though support for input methods such as bidirectional text input was never realized. BOS continue to be used in media appliances, such as the Ediroll DV7 video editors from Roland Corporation, which run on top of a modified BOS and the TuneTracker radio automation software that used to run it on BOS and Zeta. And it was also sold as a station in a box with the Zeta operating system included. In 2015, ToonTracker released a Haiku distribution bundled with its broadcasting software. The Tascam SX1 digital audio recorder runs a heavily modified version of BOS that will only launch the recording interface software. The Radar 24, Radar V and Radar 6, hard disk-based, 24-track professional audio recorders from his technology corporation were based on BOS 5. Magicbox, a manufacturer of signage and broadcast display machines, uses BOS to power their Ovalon product line. Final Scratch, a 12-inch vinyl timecode record-driven DJ software-slash-hardware system, was first developed on BOS. The ProFS version was sold to a few dozen DJs prior to the 1.0 release, which ran on a Linux virtual partition. Thanks for watching.